This video is based on the technical analysis of Richmond and as you guys can see we find ourselves on the monthly chart at this point in time and to those of you who are at this point in time looking to possibly buy shares of Richmond I would say buying right now is not a good idea I mean if we were to look at the monthly chart we can see that since 2015 the market had been moving in a sideways manner as you guys can see and up until recently we saw this huge bullish candlestick and we saw the market move from this level over here all the way to that level over here right so the key to the buying of shares is buying low and selling high right? so at this point in time the market is very much high and it makes no sense in my very humble opinion to be buying at this point right i think a lot of people needed to buy at around this level over here as i've said the name of the game is buy low and sell high right anyway from here let's head down to the weekly chart and um, before we do so i also want to point out that we have this candlestick over here and what it is is a bullish candlestick which has a small body and quite a long upper wick and where that wick ends at the top we have a lot of liquidity there and chances are that we're going to see the market actually move further up to grab some of that liquidity also the very same candlestick in my very humble opinion indicates that we're likely to see a reversal of sorts right a retracement of sorts and we may then potentially see the market move further up anyway let's head down to the weekly chart and see what's happening down there and here we are on the weekly chart let's zoom in what do we see on the weekly chart that we should be paying attention to um at this point really i don't see much but i can see that we had had this candlestick over here and what it is is a bearish candlestick with a relatively small body and quite a long lower wick and where the wick ends at the bottom there was liquidity hence we saw the last two candlesticks actually move further down they move down to actually grab the liquidity that's at that level and as you guys know liquidity is actually money that needs to be triggered by the market at one point or another anyway let's head down to the daily chart and see what's happening on the daily chart and here we are on the daily chart the daily chart is actually very much interesting why do i say so that is because we actually have a gap over here right and gaps are liquidity points they tell us that there's a lot of money stuck within this gap and that in the future chances are we're going to see the market move further down to around this level to close that gap because as i said there's a lot of money stuck here and the market will always go to where the money is another thing that i see that is also very much interesting is the fact that we have an overextended m structure over here right it's actually an overextended m structure because that first leg is much higher than that second leg and it has a neckline at this level over here just bear with me at this level over here more or less and in my very humble opinion right i believe that should price and this is especially for traders and not so much for investors should price close below this level which is the neckline of this m structure i would love to see it come back to the neckline to give it a test and where we have that neckline is where we should potentially look for selling opportunities why do i say so that is because guys whenever we have m structures what normally happens is that price closes below that neckline and then we want to see it head back to the neckline to give it a test and at that point where the neckline is is where we normally look for those potential selling opportunities especially if the neckline aligns with key fibonacci levels right and in my very very humble opinion if i were to actually sell at this level over here right my take profit would be around here somewhere in line with this point over here more or less why that is because as i said guys there's a lot of money within this gap and the, this gap needs to be closed at one point or another however even if i were to sell at this point right it may take quite some time for the market to head down to around this level nonetheless if i do indeed get a nice entry at this point i would hold up until price reaches this level over here having said that just also remember that when it comes to m structures what normally also happens is that a lot of traders and investors sell on that second leg of that m structure and they place their stop losses below so we may potentially also get a trap where price actually closes below the neckline heads back to the neckline to give it a test and at this point again moves further up to grab those stop losses and then we may also still see price continue to move further up so we just need to be careful but at this point in time i would love to see the market as i said close below that neckline head back to the neckline to give it a test and if that neckline actually aligns with the fibonacci retracement tool 
I would indeed be interested in potentially selling at this point, right? And if I and if I do get an entry indeed, my take profit will be around this level over here, which is in line with where that gap actually ends. And this would give us, as I said, this huge M structure. I hope you guys can see that.